What's up guys, it's me Gary again and today I'm gonna show you the latest video of me uh, facing the bottomless coal mine dungeon so bottomless coal mine dungeon are the third dungeon that uh, come from update so the first one that I already show you the fire cave and the second one is the underground mine for level 10 and now is the bottomless coal mine dungeon for level 50 above so this one that I'm showing you on screen are my skill setup so I'm using Nike here I mean Paladin sorry so uh, Paladin is the rank 1 uh, rank 2 of the Nikes so the rank 1 is Nike the rank 2 is Paladin so to open Paladin you need at least to have level 40 of your Nikes but I'm already max my Nikes and now I'm using the Paladin level 50 okay again it's better to go with party or with bones or with friends to clear this dungeon so I'm doing it solo because I'm alone no <laughs> because I'm just trying to having fun okay and trying to push my limit as a solo player okay and again and um, on Yome skills I'm using all enemies attack so my Yome will be my the major since my main char will be a tanker and buffer okay my Yome also will buff me with arcana with heals to heal me of course since the arcana only can be used if you are a rod user and I'm using the soil slash because I will face um, I'm taking Gerumi as my as my opponent here so I need to kill Girumi fast because I'm having advantage against water element so if I can kill Girumi fast uh, the, the other monster will not hit me hurt I mean will not hurt me hurt me like a lot since the hardest part of the on this dungeon is this this monster <laughs> As you can see, my HP keep keep this decreasing like a lot. So yeah, the hardest part of this dungeon are these these enemies, this group of monsters. Now, if I already killed Gerome, the rest will be easier. That's why I. Uh, bring the soil slice the soil soil attack with my main char while on my Yome he's using a meteor meteor skills so meteor skill can only be used if you using rod also that's why I'm pairing it with the arcana buff arcana is buff the hill for teammates okay now I mean uh, my main char will always spam the protection and the defense stance because that's the two to buff that can help me facing this group of monster without those buff, without those buff it will be hard to facing this a group of monster here okay I managed to to defeat the first group so defeating monster will open the door icon as always
now I'm proceed to the next one and this part here I'm running away because uh, again my purpose is to kill the water element first if I'm facing non water element uh, I will just run it <laughs> you can run in this game of course So this will took a lot time because I'm solo it but if you go with party it will be much easier and a six player party it will be so much easier than solo okay so whether if you join bonds or join parties but since I'm yeah I'm alone <laughs> Because in my mind, if an RPG game, if you stuck at something, you need to green more to to proceed it. So this like a challenge for me, okay. And as you can see, most of all time my HP are really low but the defense stance and the protection keep help me also i heal myself with breath of life skill and the arcana skills also help me now i keep i keep uh, spamming the defense stat defense stance first and protection before i attack the enemies okay I like depressed <laughs> I'm so depressing to to keep click the defense start since I'm afraid I will die but again I managed to uh, defeat this group of monster with low HP Proceed to another door. As you can see here, only one door that open, so I go there. And I will keep repeat my 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 method. So I keep choosing Gerumi, but again facing three gerumi it's kinda hard i never thought about it never talked about it so yeah facing three gerumi it's hard i would rather face like a group of monster before with three different element rather than facing these three gerumi at once And again, to I recommend you guys to uh, at least have level 40. I'll rank one job before entering here, so you can get at least a lot of uh, stat, a lot of damage limit. But of course, it's better if you max all of your rank one job before entering here. But since I desperate to try this dungeon, so I rush in. It's really hard facing three Gerum at once. And I think only a paladin jobs that can use here for solo. 
I don't know if other job cans or maybe if you are max level or something can solo it with max level playing two jobs or whatever but for me it's kinda hard okay you guys also don't forget to upgrade your weapons and uh, as you can see here the bottom lies bottomless icon door is yellow that means if yellow it will bring you back to previous door so don't enter the yellow icon door look at this that is yellow you will back to previous entrance that's why if you open new new door you go to the blue icon door okay again if facing enemies is facing this group of monster if the defense stands are there you better choose defense stands first since you need you need this defense stance okay to survive this all of this group of monster attack but I also recommended you guys to use a soil attack on your Yome skills if you pick Gerumi like me uh, seems I forgot I'm forgetting to, to change the uh, echo water attack there as you can see my Yome using the echo water I supposed to change it to maybe other soil soil attack but I am forgetting okay uh, at this point I will uh, speed up my videos but you can uh, slow it down on YouTube setting of course if you really want to check which door I go
okay so finally we reach the boss here so the boss are water elements so I'm using all possible all possible soil element here and this is actually actually my second try so the first try when I'm reaching the boss I can defeat the boss so I'm running out the time that time I'm running out time and uh, my character automatically uh, teleport back to city so it count as like that so it will looks like your character is dead if you running out of time so if you taking so long to kill the boss you will be teleport back to city so in so my second try here I try to use all possible soil attack so I'm setting it I'm setting my skill to be more aggressive so I even remove the bread of life just to exchange it exchange it with a soil attacks here as you can see and because I know the defense stands are enough to not get me killed by this this boss since my Yome will keep heal me with the arcana skills and why I'm using the a gold triangle on my Yome so my Yome will also buff himself reducing his cooldown cooldown time okay there's a skill called the golden triangle yeah, like that it will reduce the cooldown time and yeah and I'm really, really uh, no. I'm really know that my Yome will will heal me in time because the defense stance will help me survive. As you can see here, all my five skills are attack skills, and only defense stance as my buff. To increase my defense, of course. Mayomi also set set up with uh, earth. I mean soil elements. So now this is uh, the final moment. I facing the boss. Okay, so enjoy. I will. Oops. <laughs> I will off my cam okay so you guys can enjoy it <laughs> or whatever but remember to using a soil element on this boss and kill the boss as soon as possible okay as you can see the boss have a lot of HP oh my god It will take times to kill of course but this one is much faster than my first try my first try is really slow to damage this boss okay you can see I can I can still stand there because defense stance is really help me a lot while my Yome keep spamming the attack skills and you will see my Yomi will help me with the arcanas wait my Yomi keeps spamming the skills oh my god crazy boom look look at those those are arcanas okay arcana skills
boom. Or oh, maybe I will not off my cam. I will just watch my victory again. <laughs> So as you can see, if the defense stance skill are there, I will keep pushing it <laughs> to make sure my character won't die. And the best thing about this shield strike, it combine your attack and your defense. So even your with defense stance that reduce your attack. The defense stance will increase your defense, and if you using your uh, shield attack, uh, shield strike, it will still get a lot of damage because shield attack is physical with defense. Start combine at once. My HP drop really low here, and but the as you can see the defense stance it helped me a lot. And as you can see also my Yomi HP still not decreasing. <laughs> I think my Yomi doing a great job here also. Well, in the end, I actually died, <laughs> but I can revive it also. Revive myself, of course. I think I push the the defense stance limit too far, so um, I still recommend it you guys to bring the bread of life, so you can heal yourself. Then finally. I defeat the bottomless coal mine boss and I receive 500,000 XP. 500,000 XP. How cool is that? 500,000 XP. My god. I wish <laughs> this XP can be spam, but of course not. And that's it for video guys, I even get one level from level 50 to level 51 just by defeating the boss. Yeah, so that's it for video guys. And again, I recommended you guys to uh, go in this dungeon with your party, with your bonds, with your friends. Also... Uh, leveling up your skills your job it's much better than what I am doing here so solo it's not really recommended at all but if you want to trying if you want to try yourself you can yeah just do like me okay <laughs> and Okay, that's it for video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and like this video if this video helpful, share this video and if you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel guys. Thank you so much for watching. Get a sign out. See ya.